The EMP worked like a charm, Ray. Yep. Call me pleasantly surprised. You had doubts? I always have doubts. But I also have an All excellent right, poker face, Mingo. Not a skill, mind you. More due to years of rampant binge drinking. Right. Okay, that's uh, Ranch picked up fine. Titus's Just default door code. 4545. Four, five. Thanks. You're in the wrong place. Ugh! You're not supposed to be here. I'm conducting routine. I have a description of the torture. Ready to obey. I'm on my way to the server. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. All right, Ray, send it something your way. Oh, yeah. That's definitely something. You know, this is gonna take some time to parse. You should be close to a private lift in the CEO's office. My blueprint doesn't show where it goes, which means it's exactly what we're looking for. She even got her own private elevator. Going down. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10 year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. All right, let's see what they're keeping in sub level six. And smash the shit out of it. What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. Alright, I'm in a nuclear bunker slash parking garage. You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick-ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. 
One of our long-term goals for Titus Robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability. We plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We're currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We're also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. Guys. Guys, I can't even. Where'd you find? <laughs> System oh, online. I can't even. Oh. I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that.
That did it. Heading to the prototypes now. We've got a problem. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Lock the fuck out of the prototype while I work on the door. Counting on you, buddy. elevator. You'll need to find your way up to the backup server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything. Good luck. 